Okay, this is Smooth Fuego TV. Now, it has been a basically a year the last time we were active was for professor green for his interview but there's a reason why we're coming back and that's because of a special young lady i'll get her to introduce herself yeah well she girl nadia rose obviously thanks for having me no problem now nadia you have blown up <laughs> social media the internet everything it just it just came out of nowhere for those who may not have heard of you give them a brief rundown of how you got started and who you are um yeah cool well Basically, I've been creative from literally the jump um, and I've literally just been perfecting my craft before I put anything out. I've just been working behind the scenes and then like this year, June, I released my first track single, um, Station. <laughs> um, and yeah, that, that got a sick response and then SBTV hollered, put my next song on there and that just went crazy. <laughs> and since then, I've just literally just been pushing pushing myself in people's faces so. so did you expect that response or was it a huge surprise to you, <sighs> Do you know, i didn't expect it, i'm not gonna lie i didn't expect <laughs> it i i didn't think it would be a whack response i just yeah i didn't think it would blow up like that like yeah the views are just dumb i wasn't it's ready crazy. but yeah i appreciate it because a lot of people have been saying it's been a long time since sbtv has put a video on that's had that much hype mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they're kind of saying that you've kind of revived them <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of talk there's a lot of talk um but yeah loads of respect to sb um i think the two of us coming together made sense we're going to continue to work and um yeah who knows what else will come from that Speaking of videos as well, um, since you've had a lot of attention, how have you been dealing it, with it? Because I won't go into detail, but I've noticed you get some interesting comments. <laughs> on your video. But how are you dealing with that? Um, yeah, do you know what? Like the the little comments and that they don't like they're not, they don't bother me. Do you know what mm. I mean? I like some of them are funny. Some of them are just like, what are you even saying? <laughs> um, but. Yeah, like, it's been cool. Obviously, now when I go out, people are noticing me. I mean, I went to a house party the other day and literally everyone there knew who I was. And Crazy. It was like, okay, wow. Like, so, yeah, there's definitely, there's a nice energy around what's going on. Um, and, yeah, I'm really excited for what, what more is to come. So you're already finding yourself, you can't go to the shops without getting bubbled. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's not peak. It's not peak yet. I'm, I'm still able to breathe. But, yeah, people are definitely interested and... Like I said, I appreciate it because I've been working loads. Okay, now describe your style. Now, I've heard a bunch of different tracks from you. you got Station, Boom, mm -hmm. and other ones such as Murder, which a few people may have heard, a few haven't. Mm -hmm. You switch up the style on all three of them. <laughs> does, does that describe your versatility? Do you have a certain um, sound? Well, yeah, okay, mainly, mainly I've... Apologies. Mainly <laughs> I've been creating um, hip-hop. Yeah. Um, and, like... No matter what I'm on, I still feel like my hip hop flow is there in it. There's still an element of the, of there's still an element of hip hop in it. Whether I'm doing bashment, grime, garage, whatever it is, um, just the kind of pockets that I choose to enter, um, they're different. Um, but yeah, I am very versatile, and I do show that in my, I mean, vast range of genres. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm me, and I <laughs> I put me on whatever, and it works. Okay, now you mentioned those styles. Have you been influenced from artists that you grew up listening to, or is it just completely your own style? Um, yeah, no, I would say I was. I've been heavily influenced by particularly the hip hop scene, like what growing are, up. What so, artists? Nice artists. So that was obviously Missy, Busta, M, MC Light. Um, okay. Timberland, literally just anything 90s to the noughties, uh, that era. I'm trying to bring <laughs> that back basically because I feel like it's been forgotten and no one else, no one else is trying to trying to keep that here. Do you know what I mean, especially in the UK, people they either they want to sound American in order to do it and then mm. it doesn't work and or like yeah, no one's really grasping it and keeping true to themselves at the same time. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, really. Okay, now also one thing that you're gonna get a lot like this is one of your first interviews, but this is gonna, you're gonna get this so much that it's gonna literally annoy you. Mm -hmm. Being a female MC as well, a lot of people they tend to put female MCs in a certain box. Do you feel mm -hmm. that it's in a way 
it's good that they're promoting the fact that female MCs are getting out there or do you think it kind of discredits you as an artist by putting you in that box and you want to be put with everyone else? Um, well, I didn't put myself in that box. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I mean, I'm sure I've made that very clear. If I haven't, I'm going to continue to. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm doing me and no matter what anyone says, whether they want to class me as a female rapper or put me in the same box as you know, some of the others, um, I will always know that I'm doing my thing completely different to anyone else, whether they're man, girl, dog. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that, that business. I'm I'm doing me and this is my this is my box. Actually I'm not even in a box. This is just my space. This is <laughs> it's my cloud. Like I'm just yeah, I'm just doing me. So and one thing I've noticed words. with you as an artist, you got you got two sides to you. You've got your comedic side where you just <laughs> take everything for fun. You got jokes in your lyrics and that. But at the same time, even even though you got this little cute persona with a lot of people think you're 16 when you're not. <laughs> you got this little cute persona. Like you're very outspoken to the point where I can tell if somebody was to come for you, you'll be ready <clears throat> in that way. Well, um, well <laughs> yeah, I, I guess like. Do you know what I mean? I'm not here making trouble. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I am I'm very like I say, I'm comedic, like I'm I'm here for fun. Like this is what yeah. I I just like to have fun in it. Um but obviously if someone's trying to disturb that fun, do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna So would you be um, up for it or are you just are you completely unity or if oh, a no, beef with no, arise? No, no, yeah, if there's beef, if there, I'm from okay. South. If there's beef <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If there's beef, if it's, if it's on both sides, sometimes people try and beef me and I'm not beefing them in it. So it's mm. just like, right, do your ticket. That's, <laughs> that's your own, innit? But yeah, if if it comes to that, do you know I mean? Obviously, I don't want nothing to ever affect my career in it. So I'm never going to do anything stupid. But yeah, I will always speak out if I feel like, do you know what I mean? I've been disrespected or, do you know what I mean? Something's gone a bit left. I hear the seriousness in that tone there. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking, you mentioned you're from South London. Yeah. Um, speaking of South London, namely Croydon, we all watched the Croydon Awards. That's what we I'm going to call it. We did the Croydon Awards. <laughs> the MOBA Awards. How do you feel about literally Croydon being a home Man, of UK but music at the moment? I have to admit, I was very proud, like seriously proud. Because like literally those guys are guys that I've grown up with. Do you know what I mean? Like their family. Um so yeah, it was good to see, like, because people think that they've just come out of nowhere and all of a sudden, oh, but I've seen these guys putting in work, like, from they was youths putting in work, like, um, so yeah, it's really sick to see those achievements being made. Um, it was a pity that section weren't put in the papers, but they tend to do that though, yeah to the certain yeah. ones getting the papers the same but whatever to... Traffic Ain't Dead was on <laughs> national TV did, did you hear it creeping up though <laughs> I did I, I heard did. that and I was I thinking did. Hmm. <laughs> I did I knew straight away but what what are your mm. feelings towards that because a lot of there was two sides to um, Rita Ora doing that a mm -hmm. lot of people gave her backlash for it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by saying she was begging and things like that, that <laughs> but then other people were saying it was good because she gave them that yeah no, yeah no people are going to see it differently but um I mean, at the end of the day, is music. Rhea mm. obviously fills section in it. She wouldn't have done it if she didn't fill them in it. So if she fills them and that's how they're rocking, we don't know what they have planned. Do you know what I mean, for all we mm -hmm. know, they could have a tune coming out next and this was just a little teaser. Like, nobody really knows in it. But I think, yeah, I think it was a good look. And I don't think it's affected Rhea. Do you know what I mean? She's mm -hmm. still doing her thing. Section are definitely doing their thing. So, do you know what I mean? Okay, so could we expect to see Nadia Rose next year, 2016? Expect to? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, once I start, I can't stop, basically. Okay. So, yeah. So the MOBA Awards on the horizon then? Oh, definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely. And saying that as well, a lot of people have said straight away, 2016 is going to be this girl's year. What can we expect to see from you for the end of 2015 and the start of 2016? Um, well, yeah, for the end of this year, I'm just obviously, like I said, I'm going to be in your face. Um, and it's just kind of, this year was basically just a prep for next year. Like, I've just literally released freestyles, throwaways. Um, but next year, you're getting the works, like, you're getting the singles, the, proper the, body, the of body of work. Of work yes. the, the, the proper in your face, like, oh, my days, I can't get away from her and she's sick. Okay, you know I mean? yeah. well, that's been Nadia Rose and Smooth Fuego TV. I'm going to ask you one last question. Yep. 
And after I ask you that, would you like to tell the people where they can keep up to date with you, all your socials, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything? Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm going to ask you this one last question. There's a lot of up and coming singers, songwriters, producers. I know you're just starting out, but mm-hmm. what advice could you give them based on what you've experienced so far? Um, well, yeah, my, my advice is always going to be that it's it's not easy and I'm not going to make out that anything that I've done has been easy. Um, there will be times where you feel like, what am I doing this for? Nothing is coming of it. Um, but I, which I mean, like you said, I'm just starting out to the eyes, but I have been working for a long time and now what's happening um, has only happened because of all that work that I've put in and continuing through the crap. Can I say crap? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> continuing through the crap. And it, um, so, like, yeah, just literally keep pushing. Even if there is bad times, there'll be greater times once you bust through those, innit? So, yeah, keep going. Okay, would you like to tell the people where they can keep up to date with you? Yep. Um, I'm literally on everything as Nadia Rose Music. Nadia Rose music, no R in Nadia if you're struggling. It's just <laughs> Joey, Nadia Rose music, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, everything.